Okay, okay, we already know. Before we jump it off, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification button so you notified every time your boy drop. Today, <laughs> man, shots fired. <laughs> This nigga Charleston White is so motherfucking goofy. It don't make no sense. Now, what we're talking about tonight is the situation between Honeycomb Brazy and Charleston White. Now, this man uploads a video. Now, before I get into it, I just want to say something. Now, you claim to be... Uh, so smart and intelligent and this and this and that and that and you say some of the stupidest shit sometimes it don't make no sense you know uh it, it just don't now he goes in on how he not feeling homecoming crazy because uh he retarded he gonna crash out and, uh, he deserved to be in prison. He need to go back to prison. They need to lock him up. And, like, you talking about you was an activist and you was fighting for motherfuckers in your community and and you was for the people and all that. How could you even come on the internet and say some shit like that about a man? I mean, at the end of the day, you got people playing with this man about his family that's actually no longer here on earth. And you have the nerve to say something sharp about you feel he should go back and you hope they lock him back up and all that. What type of nigga? Man, nigga, man this nigga remind me of uh, Samuel Jackson on Django. This, that's what this nigga Charleston White remind me of. I mean, I just never seen uh, uh, motherfuckers like this before. Uh, I mean, even if he if he being serious or if he if he acting or whatever he's doing, because let him tell it everything that he's saying on the internet is an act. But I ain't, nigga ain't trying to hear that shit, man. That shit one that you can't act, you can't you can't act that motherfucker good, and you not putting on no front. You know, motherfucker not no dummy. That shit you be talking about, you really feel that way, and it's sad, bro. But I'm going to defend Honeycomb Brazy on the situation, right? When you go through something like what he went through and you got all these motherfuckers playing with him, they toying with him, motherfuckers, you know, sneak dissing and doing all that, it'll make you explode after you get out the penitentiary, man. You know, you talking about he, ain't, he went to prison and didn't learn nothing. You don't know what that man learned. You know what I'm saying? But he's also out of prison, ain't even been out 30 days, and he's doing shit. He's making million dollar plays, man. He's in position to be a, a multi millionaire, you know, if he can just hold his nuts. But at the same time, he's a man at the end of the day, and he's a convict. And he done been there, done that, and he's a gangster. So, uh, ain't no, let alone a gangster, right? Ain't no real man for to let no other man antagonize him. Ain't no real man finna let no motherfucker keep shitting on him and kicking him when he down. I don't give a fuck who you is, let alone the gangster. Now, ain't no gangster going for no bullshit, period. So if a motherfucker's walking around society saying he a gangster, if he's a real gangster, he ain't going for no bullshit, period. And you dummies, especially Charles White, this is shit like y'all supposed to know. This goes uh, without saying, you know. But, you know, everybody got an opinion and everybody got a mouth just like everybody got an asshole at the end of the day. But, yeah, I just wasn't feeling that. And uh, you supposed to be way sharper than that. But it goes to show that you're not. You know what I'm saying? Just like in the comedy show you just had, and you get into it with some motherfuckers, you lucky that when them niggas got on the stage, they didn't mean business because if them niggas meant business, nigga, you would have been 
fucked off or even dead, bro. You could have been fucked off or even dead uh, playing like that. And, uh, yeah, rather y'all was acting or whatever you was doing. If that shit was for real, if, if some real hyenas, some lions, tigers and bears got on that stage with your little ass, bro, they'd have told your ass apart, bro. Because Dewberry didn't, listen, Dewberry was good for nothing. No matter what he thought he was doing or whatever, that shit was uh, unorganized. It was chaos. And, nigga, you lucky to go away with your life, let alone your money and your chain and all that. Because some real niggas got up there, nigga, they would have got all that from you. And, and, and I'm talking about put your ass in the hospital. So, you know, if I was you, I would just be praying to God that you still alive and you able to walk around society and keep talking shit and chewing bubblegum, you know, because, uh, yeah, you, you dodged a bullet. But, you know, when you see gangster situations, you say you ain't no gangster, you ain't on that, you want to see motherfuckers locked up and all that shit, uh, that's the most backwardest shit I ever heard for a nigga that claimed he a revolutionary and, uh, he's an activist and all this, uh, and you walk around talking about you want to see niggas locked up, and you was so-called part of a gang, your motherfucking self, uh, it just don't make no sense, but, you know, if I was you, I would just stay out of that, man, don't even put your, your opinion don't even count, bro, you done already told everybody how you feel about gang bangers and niggas that call themselves gangsters and niggas that is gangsters. So, you know, just leave that topic alone. It's like you flirting with fire. It's like you trying to egg motherfuckers on to do something to you, man. It's like you got a death wish at the end of the day. For those that don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Charleston White. And uh, if you're not hip to this dude, you know, look him up. Go to YouTube, look him up. Uh, uh, he's all over social media, but he, he, you know, he just says some reckless things sometimes, man. And, uh, I don't think he really know how serious it really is because the motherfuckers you getting into it with on the internet, them ain't the niggas that's going to get you. It's the niggas that you've never gotten into it with. It's the niggas that you've never seen. They're the ones that's going to get you, player. Believe that. It's the ones that ain't never been on camera, in the background. They never on the limelight. They don't have a social media. Them the niggas that's gonna get you, bro. Believe that. They not gonna get you goofy. They gonna wait for the perfect time to strike. Believe that. So with that said, man, I'm out. Uh, welcome home, honeycomb brazy. Free all the real ones. And I get with you. Uh, probably Friday, if not Saturday. Stay tuned in with that. All the real ones stay up out there. Mr. Las Vegas for the record, and I'm out.